Hi YouTube, it is week 28 with my Flow Hive and what I have to do today is move this hive which is currently in my backyard. I had moved it here for a workshop at the Bee Club. Uh, I need to move my hive from in the backyard back outside the fence. But one of the things that I had read and been told more than once was that if you're going to move a beehive, you should move it two feet or two miles. Um, I, I don't have the luxury of moving this two miles away for a few days and then bringing it back here. The reason they say you're supposed to move it two miles is so it, for, it forces the bees to reorient. They're familiar right now with this location, this fence, where my house is. Um, and so when the field bees leave, they come back here because of the how they've imprinted uh, on the landmarks and features here. If I just move this 30 feet, when the field bees leave the hive, they're going to come back here uh, thinking that their hive is here. They're, they're just going to go out the front door and go about their business and forget where they left from. So I'll have to take some steps to force them to uh, reorient back to the new location. So let's get to it. I got down to 50 degrees last night. So all the bees are inside right now. There's none hanging out the front door. But the first thing I'm gonna do is with the inspection board, and I'm gonna move it up to the top slot. And the reason I'm doing that is just in case there's any gaps in the screen big enough for bees to get out of. Uh, I don't want them coming out and being angry at me while I'm in the process of moving the hive. My next step is to plug up the entrance and I don't want them leaving while I'm moving the hive so I'm just going to take a plug of grass and stick it in the entrance. Now my next step so I'm going to strap the hive together so that the boxes don't come apart or shift while I'm moving them. At least that's, that's the goal. I did this once before and it worked out well. That's nice and tight. This will come in handy. So you're probably wondering how am I going to pick this up all by myself. These straps, if you grip them and lift, and use your legs, you can lift up the colony pretty easily. So part of my back I'm going to turn around and see if I can't get that in there without too much of uh, a trouble. Wow, that went well. There we go. There we go. That wasn't too difficult at all. I'm pleased. Now there's a couple of more steps I have to take uh, 
to ensure things go well. I'm going to leave these uh, plugged up for a second, but what I need to do is put some branches in front of their entrance so that when the field bees leave, they have to get around some obstacles. That should cause them to reorient on the hive. And hopefully, the goal is that they'll reorient and come back here instead of going back to where they were in the yard, where the hive was in the yard. But in case they do, I have something for that too. Machete. Branches. That should provide enough of an obstacle. I really don't know, but we'll see. If you uh, have any better ideas, let me know. But uh, this is what my solution is for just moving 30 feet instead of my two feet or two miles. Hopefully this will work. I'm gonna pull the plug out. Nothing yet. hear them in there though. Okay, hives moved. This is where the hive was though. This is where any field bees that don't reorient are going to come back to. They think their hive is supposed to be here and they're not going to find it. They're going to be lost. But to give them a little bit of a hand, I'm going to give them some place to go into this nuke. And inside it, I've got some partially drawn frames. So it smells, mm, smells like bees and honey. And they'll be happy. As a matter of fact, there's one trying to get home right now. I'll come back later today and we'll see how many bees actually came back here and didn't reorient. Now we wait. Okay, as expected, a lot of the field bees didn't reorient themselves coming out of uh, the flow hive. And uh, they're coming back here, so this nuke box is doing the job it's supposed to do. It's giving the field bees somewhere to come back to if they happen to get lost. But what I'm going to have to do is tonight, after sundown, or right at sundown when they're done working, is I'll close this box up and I'll take the bees and shake them back into the flow hive. I feel like the crocodile hunter down here. Crikey, look at them, they're beautiful. Coming back loaded with pollen. That was cheesy, wasn't it? Alright, let's see how the flow hive's doing. All right, there are field bees coming back, loaded with pollen here as well. So some of the bees are reoriented or they've circled and found the hive. But there are several here with pollen on their legs. So that's a, that's a good sign that the bees are, a lot of them at least, are reorienting when they leave here. And they're finding their way back home. It's been about 11 hours now since I moved the flow hive from here, where the newt box is, just to the other side of the fence right over there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this over to the flow hive, take off the honey super, and shake these bees back into the colony. Um, I'm going to suit up for this because these are all field bees. Field bees tend to be a little more ornery. And what I'm doing is going to irritate them. So, uh, let's finish this job. Pine shavings.
bees are going to be angry. They think they're queenless. They were lost. They're not going to be the happiest bees. But you know what? There's not a whole lot of them. Oh, there's nothing to shake in. Just a few. Oh, but they are angry. Field bees are the meanest bees. They are. Sorry, girls. I know you've been working hard. Well, there weren't nearly as many bees that came back as I thought uh, to the to the nuke box, so that's a good thing. Back. So the move seemed to go okay. Uh, there were only about 200 field bees that were in the nuke box. I feel fairly confident that most of the bees that left reoriented. The hive was very full, uh, so I successfully moved a beehive only 30 feet, not just two feet or two miles. If any of you have done this any differently or, or have any other ideas for any, to share with anyone else on how to do this a short distance, please share it in the comments below. And that's it. See y'all later.